Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and today we're going to be talking about my TBR for the Read A-thon. So uh, if you did not know, I am Canadian. I live in Ontario and uh, I've never actually participated in this Read-a-thon before, which is Read A-thon because like Canada, A. Eh? Um, but I've always wanted to. I love reading books by Canadian authors. I read a lot of them in school and I try and seek them out outside of school as well. So uh, I have a stack of books here. Some of them are books that are like my priority this week and then there are others that if I don't get to that's fine but I'd like to try to get to them. The priority ones are ones which fit uh, the prompts which I'll put up here. Uh, it's like a little bingo sheet. I couldn't find books to fit all of them. I found some books online, but I haven't uh, had the chance to purchase them and it would take too long to get them shipped to me. So I'm just working with what I've got. So the first prompt, uh, read a book by an indigenous author. I will be reading The Marrow Thieves by Sherry uh, Dimalin. I'm not certain how to pronounce that. Uh, but I actually got a chance to meet the author uh, when I bought this book. So this book is signed and I never got the chance to read it but I'm really really looking forward to it is I believe a fantasy kind of like dystopian fantasy book but the author is Métis and um was the first aboriginal writer in residence for the Toronto Public Library which is cool I'm looking forward to it I think it has something to do with dreams um Oh yeah, so indigenous people are being hunted for their bone marrow because uh, the bone marrow in it is the ability to dream because I guess other people can't dream. Um, so that like marrow thieves because people are stealing bone marrow. I think it'll be really interesting and timely. Next was to read a book with red on the cover. I'll be reading The Inconvenient Indian, A Curious Account of Native People in North America by Thomas King, who is also an indigenous author. Uh, but I chose to use this one for red on the cover because it's red. Uh, this is actually on the list of books to read before going to law school, which is why I picked it up, but it fit perfectly with the readathon, and I'm really, really looking forward to reading this. This is probably my most anticipated book on this TBR. Next, uh, read a Canadian children's book. I chose The Nest by Kenneth Oppel. Uh, you can't really see his name, but it's... I'm dropping books! Uh, it's up here. I just recently read Silver Wing by Kenneth Oppel, which is also a uh, children's book, and it was really, really good. I do want to continue with the rest of that series, but um, I need to order them all online. So for now, I'm going to read this one. I just think, like, the cover is so cool, how it's, like, um, like sheer. You can, so the name of the author and stuff is actually on the cover, which is so cool looking, and then the dust jacket has like this texture over top. Super neat. I'm excited to read it. It's also like kind of like a tiny book. Like if you compare it, it's just like small in height. It's like not too, too thin, but it, it's cute. It's small. And then the next prompt was to read a book that is not a novel. So I have Hero of the Play, which is a book of poetry by Richard Harrison. I read uh, On Not Losing My Father's Ashes in the Flood by Richard Harrison for the OWLs this year, and I loved it. So I'm excited to read this one. It's all poems about hockey, which I think will be really fascinating. And then the last um, prompt which I followed was to read a book nominated for an award. All three of these were nominated. I think all of them were nominated for the Silver Birch Award in Canada, and I'm not sure if any of them are winners or not, but I picked them all up when I went to the um, festival, like the, the, the Festival of the Trees or whatever it's called, I'm not sure. So one of these will be on my like priority TBR, and then the other two will be on my other TBR. The cool thing about these two books is that they're actually part of a series, um, the Secret series, they have it there, and you can read these books in any order, which I think is really neat. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I used to read books out of order all the time when I was a little kid, like I had no qualms about reading the 30th book in a series before ever reading the first one, but now I like, you know, I, I want to read things in chronological order. So the fact that there is no chronological order for these is very bizarre for me, but I think, I think I might like that. And then lastly, this one doesn't really fit any prompts, but 
Uh, it is called Paying For It, a comic, a comic strip memoir about being a John by Chester Brown. And it's kind of, um, it's interesting because it's, it talks about prostitution, but not from the side of the sex workers, but from the side of the Johns, the people purchasing the sex. I also read his biography of uh, Louis Riel for a class I took in first year, and I liked it. I like his um, kind of like simplistic art style. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, there is a very bizarre sticker inside this book. I don't know. Okay. Oh, is this like an anti-stealing sticker? I bought this at a grocery store. I think, yeah, the price tag is still on it. I got it for $5 at the grocery store. Um, yeah, so this isn't a priority, but if I can get to it, I'd like to. It, I feel like it'll go by quickly because it is uh, comic strips. So that is my TBR for the read-a-thon. I will uh, leave a link down below to Books and Law Law's website, which is just booksandlawlaw.com, and that has all of the information about the read-a-thon there. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below to her video where she discusses it. I think she put it out about a month ago. Again, I'll link it down below. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more from me. And don't forget to comment. Bye, guys.